the best and worst MRE accessories. Just like the hit and miss menu itself, there are fans and there are critics of the various accessories found in the ration packs of militaries past and present. A few are universally detested, a number are universally adored, and some fall in between, while others are just flat out misunderstood. John Wayne Toilet Paper for those in the military, back-end sanitation is a matter of life and death, mainly because the MRE toilet paper provided is so harsh, there's a high chance you'll bleed out before you flush. Affectionately known as John Wayne toilet paper, because it's rough and tough and doesn't take sh off no one. This infamous MRE accessory can also be used to sand down stools, both wooden and biological. Aside from the dreadful feel, the main problem with this low-grade toilet tissue, alternatively called, oh dear god, why paper, is that it's not the sturdiest, a common complaint being that it's utterly unable to wipe anything without tearing itself apart, along with the colon. However, these ring-stinging reams of extra fine grit sandpaper, which are commercially available online in packs of 50 for just 15 bucks each, are far from impractical. One web retailer has gone to great pains, and no, they haven't tested the original function, to list many alternative applications. It might make bathroom users unable to touch their toes for an afternoon, but for others, it remains an incredibly flexible product that can be used as a pocket tissue, a fire starter, and even as a wipe to clean oil from the dipstick of a car. You could also probably use it as tracing paper or even try rolling a cigarette or whatever with it. Chewing gum. Of all the various military accoutrements, the chewing gum MRE is probably the most misunderstood. Urban legend says that the gum has the opposite effect of the biscuit brown in that it releases the floodgates rather than holding them back. According to one form dweller, the red piece is the laxative while the white one is an anti-diarrheal. A useful combination that enables soldiers in the field to plug up or unplug at leisure. Thanks to the detective work of a few internet sleuths, though, this myth has well and truly been busted. According to David Aceta, a veteran in charge of public affairs at the Army Natick Soldier Systems Center, which is tasked with supplying food to the U.S. Army, the belief that the gum is a bowel loosener is completely incorrect. Its true and rather more boring purpose is actually to clean the teeth and freshen the breath, which definitely comes in handy after you've gagged down a vomit. In fact, it is surprisingly effective at staving off the malodorous after effects of Army ration food. Introduced to MRE packages in 2004 by the Joint Services Operational Ration Forum, chewing xylitol gum on a daily basis has been shown to reduce tooth decay by between 30 to 85 percent and to adequately neutralize weapon-grade halitosis, even if it's one step down from chemical warfare. The U.S. Army MRE also features another type of gum infused with caffeine. Like a mid-battle power-up, nibbling just a couple of pieces can get you buzzed in as little as 15 minutes because the caffeine is absorbed through the tissues of the mouth, meaning it gets into your bloodstream faster. So forget toothpaste and forget coffee. The chewing gum MRE has everything you need but the last thing you need is getting it stuck in your hair. Or even worse, this, ow. And sometimes you need a solution for a problem like this. And that's where our sponsor, Keeps, is here to help. Keeps is an online subscription service that makes it easy and affordable to treat hair loss from home. You don't need a visit to a doctor's office or a pharmacy. Just complete an online consultation and you'll be matched with a treatment plan tailored specifically for you. One thing we love about Keeps is how convenient it is. You get your treatment delivered right to your door in discreet packaging. Plus, they offer flexible delivery options every 3, 6, or 12 months. You can adjust, pause, or cancel your plan anytime and it's all about what works best for your schedule. Keeps treatments are clinically proven to work. They offer FDA-approved options to prevent hair loss and stimulate hair growth, as well as hair thickening shampoo and conditioner. Most guys start seeing results within six months. 
Keeps is all about confidence. They've helped over a million men reclaim their identity by addressing hair loss. And with over 5,000 five-star reviews, Keeps is a trusted solution for many. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off a three-month plan, go to keeps.com slash simple history or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash simple history. Now on to the Flameless Ration Heater. For over 30 years, the Flameless Ration Heater has been the U.S. Army's number one miracle worker with its ability to turn clumps of congealed cold pasta from something that shouldn't even be considered food, let alone put into the mouth, into a dish that straddles the fine line between the vomit-inducing and barely edible. This is achieved by adding a mixture of powdered magnesium iron alloy and table salt with an ounce and a half of water for 10 minutes, which raises the temperature of the eight ounce main meal to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or about 38 degrees Celsius. The process is known as an exothermic reaction as the water boils. For those unfamiliar with the heating process, a list of step-by-step -step instructions with an informative picture can be found on the front. In what has become one of the biggest military in-jokes on the net, step mm. number six vaguely advises users to lean the piping hot heater against a rock or something. The phrase was originally coined in jest by Lauren Alexic, Bob Trottier, and Don Pickard at the Natick Research Development and Engineering Center's Food Engineering Directorate as they were designing the directions for the flameless ration heater in 1993. If caught without a handy rock, soldiers have suggested that a sleeping dog, a buddy, and even a lieutenant's head are good alternatives. Cigarettes. A former staple of British and American ration packs, cigarettes were not so much an accessory, but a necessity for the combatants of World War I, World War II, and Vietnam. This can be illustrated by the contents of the U.S. Army C and K rations, which up until the removal of tobacco in 1975, included palate cleansing smokes to accompany breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In 2017, Steve Thomas, a YouTuber known as Steve1989MREinfo and renowned for his creative military ration videos, recreated this classic combo when he ate a K-ration from 1943, finishing it off how it was meant to with a vintage Roly he described as the strongest cigarette I've ever had. During World War II, cigarettes were viewed as so essential by the British war effort that they even made their way into a parliamentary debate. On March 22, 1944, in a question categorized as an overseas issue, the member of parliament for Cheltenham, Mr. Daniel Lipson, asked the financial secretary to the war office, Arthur Henderson, to replace the smaller Woodbine and V smokes with a larger product that was of higher quality. Cigarettes were ultimately removed in the 1970s by most militaries because of the emerging scientific consensus that they were a leading cause of cancer, yet they still remained in the ration packs of several other countries. Complementary cigarettes were still available in the Russian army up until 2013, when the Russian defense minister got rid of them. Among the most vociferous critics of the move was Valentina Melnikova, head of the Union of Soldiers Mothers Committee, a Russian NGO or non-governmental organization that exposes human rights violations within the Russian military. She warned that their nicotine-starved sons would violently riot if this most foundational of Russian human rights was broken. The P-38 Can Opener Often cited as the Army's best ever invention, the underappreciated P-38 can opener was first introduced to the U.S. Army in 1942 and was often worn around a soldier's neck in the style of a dog tag. It was created by Major Thomas Dennehy in just 30 days at the Subsistence Research Laboratory in Chicago. At one cent per unit, an estimated 750 million were manufactured over the three years that America fought in World War II making it the cheapest and most mass-produced tool ever made by the American military. Many legends exist about the origins of its name, but the most commonly accepted is that it took 38 punctures to open a can of combat rations. Like the sandpaper masquerading as toilet roll, in Vietnam, the P-38 was nicknamed John Wayne for its robustness. The P-38 was also incredibly versatile because, similar to the Swiss Army knife, it had a number of extra functions. 
In addition to tins, it could open paint cans, bottles, and letters. And instead of a can opener, it could be employed as a screwdriver, a chisel, a window scraper, a fish gutter, a marking tool, a toothpick, a tire deflator, a coffee stirrer, and perhaps most satisfyingly of all, as an itch scratcher. But the P-38 was phased out of the military in the early 1980s, following the introduction of easy-to-open MRE pouches, and was last manufactured by the U.S. Army in the 1990s for a supplier of outdoor equipment. For many older veterans, the P-38 is much more than just an accessory. It's an absolutely iconic piece of kit that, more often than not, ends up as a treasured family heirloom. There is a larger version of the can opener still used today called the P-51. It's used to open canned bulk meals used in the military's tray rations. Due to their disposable nature, that can't be said of the other accessories on this list. That is unless John Wayne himself signed a roll of the MRE toilet paper so lovingly named after him.